Hey guys, um, <coughs> um, welcome back to another, um, criticizing video. It's been a long time since I've done one. Anyways, if you hear me sniffling and coughing in the background, I've caught a cold, <laughs> so I'm sorry. So, <coughs> yeah. Poopsie the Killer. It's a lovely name, Poopsie. Let's read this. Also, this girl's 11, she has a big bust, I'm 12, and I don't have that much of a big bust, so I'm confused on why <coughs> an 11 year old is this much. Okay, I've seen 12 year olds with bigger busts, but whatever. It's probably because I'm pretty much hard. Okay. I need on <coughs> a little bit. Ugh. Poopsie was a regular normal girl. Was a Poopsie was a normal girl who was 11 years old, but she had a special mind. What does that mean? The other girls were not as special and teased Poopsie. <laughs> I can't. <coughs> I'm sorry, but her name is so funny. <laughs> I can't tell if this was supposed to be taken seriously or not. I'm sorry. Also, if I criticize too much, it's just my opinion. <laughs> the main bully was, was called Bertha, and she wore a purple cardigan. A. A. <laughs> a purple cardigan. A. <laughs> and, <coughs> and blonde hair. I, it was lunch at school, and kids were eating, and Bertha walked up to Poopsie. Poopsie, you are so you are ugly, and no one ever loved you. Okay, I'm adding words, I'm sorry. And no one loved you, said Bertha to Poopsie's face. Poopsie sat on her own. Sat on her... Sat on her own. Okay, um, that sort of makes sense, I guess? Um, my mind is so boggled. She had no friend. She was an underdog, a stray wolf, and a black sheep, if you will. Poopsie cried. It's not my fault. As Bertha laughed at her, Poopsie threw... <laughs> threw her tacos in the bin and went home. She threw her tacos in the bin. Why did you why did you do that? <coughs> How did you do that? Those were good tacos. At home she caught herself because she was depressed. Our mother walked in and asked if she wanted anything from the shop. <laughs> I love the story. It's not the best story, but the story is so funny. <coughs> Although it's not a good story, you did make it funny. Pepsi declined and went to bed, but the tragedy was she really did want something from the shop. She wanted a knife to not knife knife to stop Bertha, but she sighed and figured it wasn't worth it. But the thought of it gave her a feeling in her heart. She wanted to kill Bertha, but she wouldn't. Dun, dun, dun. Not yet. It was the next day, and the sun was shining. Poopsie had cereal. <laughs> I'm sorry, but her name is too funny. <coughs> Poopsie had cereal for breakfast, but when licking her spoon clean, um, <laughs> I'm reading Poopsie. The killer on YouTube. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, I had the cereal for breakfast, but when she, when licking her spoon clean, when, when licking her spoon clean and putting it back in drawer, putting it back in drawer, just shoving it. Into the drawer. You don't open it? You don't, you don't open the drawer? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> she took a knife. It was a brutal and ominous sharp knife. Can knives be ominous? Can, can knives be ominous? I mean, they could if they were shown. No, whatever. She imagined it, 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 it in Bertha's head, 
and got the feeling again. At soon, at at school, <coughs> at school, sorry. At school, she had the knife in her bag, and at any moment, she could whip it out and slice everyone up. Not very much, <laughs> um, but she didn't. That, that, that. Not for now. Lunch came, and she sat next to a boy named Grubs. Grubs had black hair and a bike, which he rode to school on. So, you took your bike into the cafeteria? You didn't park it outside somewhere? So, okay. <coughs> I wanna see what Grubs looks like. Can you can you draw a picture of what Grubs might look like? I wanna see. It. Okay. Where is he? Okay, suddenly Bertha walked up to Poopsie. So Poopsie, have you seen any ghosts recently? <laughs> Cackled Bertha. I didn't wish to be born like this, sighed Poopsie as she clutched the knife. Bertha spat in her face and walked off. Walked away. I can't let Bertha talk to you like that. Yes, I'm giving Grubs that voice. Said Grubs. You don't understand. I have a special mind. Said Poopsie as she flicked her hair out of her eyes. And never said that her her, <coughs> her hair was in her face. Embrace it. Smiled Grubs. Once it comes through. Eh. Eh. It's only in her teeth. Sorry about that. <laughs> Poopsie spat out her mouth. <coughs> Sorry about that. You see ghosts too? Yeah, that, that's what... Yes, that is what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> said Grubs as he smiled. Poopsie finally had a friend. And she and Grubs, capital H, Grubs, <coughs> went to the cemetery <laughs> together and saw ghosts. I'm finally happy, she cried. I'm finally happy. I said happy, because I was also reading cried at the same time. She cried with joy as she threw the knife at the ground. I don't need to kill Bertha, she thought to herself as she rode away with grubs on his bike. Two months, two, two months went by, and Poopsie and Grubs were officially dating. Yeah! Poopsie started to school with a smile on her face. Time for another day of kissing grubs, she smiled. Suddenly, he, she heard a scream, a scream that sounded both lovely, yet horrifying. Okay. She ran to find what the scream was, and she saw grubs lying on the floor with rocks on his head. Bertha stood opposite of him, throwing rocks at his head. Stop it, Poopsie cried. I love him. I don't. I know that's why. I know that's why I'm throwing rocks at him. Said Bertha. Poopsie ran all the way to the to the cemetery to get the knife. How long? How long of a way to the cemetery to the school? I'm confused. She she found it, ran back to school, and jumped at Bertha. The two were fighting a battle of good versus evil. Interesting. Poopsie had a knife. Bertha had rocks. <laughs> Poopsie has, uh, was obviously the better fighter, <coughs> but then. Bertha threw a rock and hit the knife out of her, out of Poopsie's hand. That's the best you got. I could just pick the knife back up. Chuckled Poopsie. She had a good mind, so and so analyzed situations well. Huh? As she went to pick it up, she guessed the knife, the, the knife, the knife has had landed on Grub's face. You monster! Screamed Poopsie. Me. You're the one who dropped the knife on it into his head. <laughs> into his head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whenever I'm reading bad grammar for my friends, I laugh, but in a funny way. In this, I also laugh in a funny way because <laughs> sometimes it makes hilarious sense. <coughs> Smirked Bertha as she walked to class. Gums, you are the only one who understands me. One part of Poopsie. Poopsie. <laughs> Moaned Grubs as its life ended. Poopsie was left by Grubs dead. 
body in tears. She pulled the knife out of his face and saw blood on it. Grub's blood. The only way I could call Glub... Gu Glub's... <laughs> yeah, I'm... 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 I'm lumpy from this now. Really? I have been watching better time in so long. Clear Grub's blood from my hands is with Bertha's blood. Smell poopsie as she got the feeling again. That night, Bertha climbed into bed. She snuggled in the blanket and started to sneeze off before she noticed a pair of eyes watching her. Who's there? Bertha yelled. Oh, I have a name. Yeah, I read that clearly. Really. Okay, the voice said. But people tend to call me other names. Crazy, red, fat, poops. <laughs> you could barely hear me. Oopsie, muttered Bertha. Suddenly the figure jumped at Bertha, revealing her like, Boopsie! And, and stabbed Bertha with the same knife that killed Grubs. Wait, did you claim the knife or did you not claim the knife? Okay. Bertha let out a scream and she died. Boopsie whispered into her ear. I'm sorry, I killed you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I killed you. <laughs> that sounds so funny in that in that voice. <laughs> I want to say it again. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> let's let's review this story. So this story was basically. <coughs> so this story. So this story was basically Poopsie, the killer. <laughs> Um, she's 11 years old, by the picture from before, she's 11 years old, and I'm older than Boopsy. She's crying in the picture, from her bio. Um, her ju- wait. No, no, she deleted the 11 year old thing. But she still says it, and was 11 years old, in the answer. I'm still- I'm still gonna call her 11 years old. Anyways, <coughs> her name is Poopsie. Is that a nickname or is that a real name? Confused. Relationship in love with Jeff Woods. So wait. So wait. So wait. Can you explain why you're in love with Jeffrey? Can you also oh, there's scratch marks at on the bottom of her leg and it's confusing me? Since when did that happen? Was it because of the rocks? Was it because Bertha scratched your legs? Was it because you tripped and fell and gashed your leg? We'll never know. And also, why is her torso a lighter, a very light color than her legs? Okay. Also, she lives in Slenderman's mansion and she has a knife and swords. Okay, I got a couple of questions. One, why is she in love with Jeff, Jeff the Killer? Two, how did she become a proxy of Sonoran? Or Jeff. <coughs> why is her name Poopsie? Why does she have a big bust? <laughs> just, just asking. Um, how did she get those scratch marks on her legs? Why is her upper torso a different color than, than her leg? Although it might be a, uh, although it might be a, um, picture picture error, but whatever. Why is she crying in a why is she crying in a biro but by wrong? <laughs> why is she crying in a bi bi bio? I'm sorry. Um <laughs> why oh yeah, I already I already asked why she's in the local chat. And also is was your was your story supposed to be intended as, as serious or as just comedic? But I'm probably gonna guess it's for serious. It's for serious reasons, considering that there are many, many fan works or not non fan works from her. To say the least. So, anyways, um. I'm okay with the story. Um, I'm okay with the story. This story was perfectly. Um, the it, it story story is kind of strange because 
like half the time I was a bit confused. Um, but overall, this this story was actually kind of amazing. <coughs> Part of the way I voice the characters. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of um, reviewing um, pretty pastas. I think the next one is going to be Homicide Lou. Actually, comment down below if I should read Homicide Lou seriously or in this cri criticizing way. Just, just ask me. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. The Triforce will be with you. Or actually, do you want me to do both videos? Do you want me to read seriously and then criticize on it in another video? I, I think I might actually do that. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. The Triforce will be with you. I'll see you guys in the next video. This story was hilarious.